Hello, I'm a sad reviewer, and this is my review of the Samsung NX10 digital camera. Before I start this review, I want to mention that this is being recorded with the Samsung NX100 digital SLR camera. Now, I will be using an external microphone for this review because uh, the NX100 is giving me some weird noises when uh, I'm recording, so I'll just be using a uh, another microphone. The Samsung NX10 is very similar to the NX100 in many ways. First of all, it's very slim and portable, and that is because there's no mirror inside it. So when you remove the cover of the camera body, you will actually see an image sensor instead of a mirror that you will see in a regular SLR camera. The NX10 uses Samsung's NX lens mount, so you will not be able to attach any lens you want on the camera directly, but Samsung does sell adapters that will allow you to fit any lens you want. The lens that came with the NX10 is an 18 to 55 mm OIS zoom lens with Samsung's NX mount. The lens features a built-in OIS stabilizer switch and a built-in auto or manual focus switch. As you can see here, the lens expands quite a lot when you zoom in. Attaching a lens to an SLR camera is very easy. You start by removing the cover for both the camera and the lens. Here you can see the image sensor directly like I mentioned before. Now both the camera and the lens will have a small red dot. Here is the one on the lens and here is the one on the camera. So what you want to do is you want to align these two dots together and that way you will fit the lens on correctly. Then you want to uh, turn the lens clockwise and until you hear a, a snap or a click. And that's it. Then I recommend that you take the both, both of the covers and you actually put them together and uh, lock them together. Both to uh, avoid losing one of them and also to keep dust out. On the front of the camera you will find your autofocus light. On the left side of the camera you will find your ports. You have a AV USB combination port, a remote shutter release port, a mini HDMI port and an optional 9 volt input port for power. On the right side of the camera you will find your SD card slot. Underneath the camera, you will find your battery compartment. You can keep your rechargeable battery and your tripod mount. A cool thing to mention is that you can access both the memory card slot and the battery compartment without removing a, uh, the camera from a tripod if you have it on a tripod. On the top of the camera, you will have your flash release button, your speaker, a hot shoe port, your different settings, on and off switch, shutter release, one of the navigation wheels, a zoom in and zoom out for the pictures that you have taken with the camera. The button here below actually acts as a little setting button, I will show you that later. And then here on the back of the camera you will have your menu button, your electronic view viewfinder, your uh, exposure button, your uh, auto exposure lock button, display button, function button, playback button, uh, delete button, auto focus manual focus button, white, white balance button, ISO button, OK button, and the little setting here for the auto focus. And here you have of course your AMOLED display. This is a great display. Now I've been testing the NX10 for a couple of weeks now and I really enjoy playing with it. Right now I'm going to demonstrate to you some different shooting modes and the zoom and focus. So right now it's zoomed all the way out and I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to manually adjust the focus. And as you can see it gives me a little digital zoom here so I can be very detailed regarding the focus. So it takes the picture. Now I'm going to show you uh, the autofocus. So I'm just going to get this completely out of focus zoom out and I'm gonna set this to autofocus and that's it you saw how quick that was now I'm gonna show you the quality so I got the picture here and I'm gonna zoom in to the picture 
and you can actually see the detailed letters on the picture which is fantastic because I shot this uh, pretty far away now again I'm gonna zoom in gonna let it actually gonna start by getting it out of focus there we go so it's all blurry so let's see how quick this is that's how quick it is now play back zoom in and you can see the details of everything how cool is that you can definitely see how sharp everything is so the autofocus on this camera is great now I'm gonna show you some other settings uh, continuous shooting it takes about uh, one picture per second which is not the best but I'm gonna show you my favorite part uh, a little later on So yeah, it's about one picture per second, which is okay, I guess. But now I'm gonna show you my favorite. This is also on the NX100. It's called the burst mode. Or I'm gonna put my hand in the front of the camera. I'm gonna put this on autofocus, and I'm gonna let it focus on my hand. And look at that. So right now it just took 30 pictures in one second. Every single moving detail of my hand. How cool is that? So right now you can see here on the light that it's buffering. So it's basically saving the, uh, the pictures on the memory card. But this is outstanding. I love this thing. I can zoom in. There you can see my hand move. Of course, it's a little blurry because the focus was on the clock. But this is really cool. If you're taking pictures of something running or, or anything like that, or you want to get a picture of someone jumping in the air, this is great for that. The menu system in the camera is very uh, user-friendly. Got some different settings around here. That's I really enjoy playing with as well. The function button over here gives a quality autofocus area color space smart range and the ois the ois is the stabilizer and like i mentioned before there is a switch on the lens itself right here that sets the ois on or off another thing that i really love about this camera is the way you hold it it actually has a, a rubber finish on the handle here and also here on the back for your thumb so it feels very comfortable to hold I also forgot to mention that it does come with this lens hood to protect it from uh, flares that come from the sun when you're shooting outside. Comparing this to the NX100, I would definitely recommend this camera because it does have the electronic viewfinder, it does have a built-in flash. It looks a lot better. I mean, the, the NX100 looks very cool as well. Uh, it is very unique and uh, it feels very comfortable. But this one is somehow it got more personality to it and I think Samsung did a really good job in designing this camera. So if you're an amateur photographer, you're trying to enter the uh, professional range but you don't want something too big and too clumsy, this is definitely something you want to take a look at. So this was my review of the Samsung NX10 digital SLR camera. If you have any questions or opinions, just leave a comment below. I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more video reviews to come.